Cairns glacial eroded quarry, Quarry Cass. The name Quarry Cass, which is translated from the Gaelic language, means steep hollow. All the names of the mountains and glens in the surrounding area are of Gaelic origin, but some have been anglified over the years. Within Corrie Cast, there is a small network of footpath trails for you to enjoy, which will start at the car park. You can get more information about these walking routes from the range routes, which is situated in the base station. Further afield, directly ahead, Glenmore may be visible along the Port Morley. These routes offer many attractive walks and cycle paths, which are generally protected from the worst of the weather by the forest. This is called the funicular railway. The word funicular comes from the Latin word funus, which means rope or a rope train. The whole rope is a thick rope attached to the top end of the carriages, and there's a thinner, lighter weight rope attached to the bottom end of the carriages. That's the tension rope. It forms a complete loop. So when we move down, we pull the other carriage up. And when the top carriage moving down has more people on board than the one going up, we generate electricity, which gets fed back into the national grid. This is the widest passenger funicular railway in the world. Our track gauge is 2 metres, carriage width 3.2 metres. It needs to be a more stable vehicle due to the high winds that we get. We're not allowed to run it in wind speeds over 75 miles per hour for the public, uh, but it can run at wind speeds up to 130. Now looking down at the passing loop, you'll notice there are no points on the loop. We don't need them as we have double flange wheels on one side of each car. Ours are on the right, so we always go down to the right on the passing loop. Our left hand wheels are rollers, they just roll across the open track to get onto the middle of the loop. And carriage 2 care has half flanged wheels on the left. Each carriage weighs a total of 15 tonnes, that's the equivalent of 12 family cars and can carry a maximum of 120 passengers struggling. It's a bit of a squeeze in the winter when everybody has their skis and snowboards with them. Now looking downhill out to your right you'll see our cast border garage. One of the big red machines sitting outside there, that's a cast border, or a PC basher as we call it. They're used for moving the snow around and smoothing it down on the pistes and for building the jumps for the skiers and snowboarders. The fencing you see on the mountain is snow fencing. Scottish ski resorts, there are five of us, are very windswept and barren and we rely on these fences to help build the snow up on the ski runs. The snow gets blown into the fencing and drifts build up along the lee side. Then the PC bashers come along with the snow out from the side of the fences and spread it out and it down on the ski runs. The metal towers and pylons you see on the mountain are teeth bars and pulleys. Those are surface toes that the skiers and the snowboarders use to be hauled up on their own equipment. The funicular track has 93 support columns made of an Irish aggregate that was used because it matches the colour of Cairngorm granite and the highest column is 4 metres. There's a regular site in the winter to see a team of the site with shovels digging out the track to try and get the funicular up and running for the day. The drive for the funicular is via two 500 kilowatt motors. They're located at the top station and they both get used when we're open for snow sports. We can then run at our top speed of 10 litres a second and the journey of just under two kilometres is done in four minutes then. Now this time of the year we only use one motor that slows the car just to five litres a second giving you an eight minute journey. The whole system is operated by computer from the <coughs> at the top. Normal braking is through two service disc brakes and we also have three sets of traffic. This particular was built by Doppelmayr, they're a Swiss company, the electric